So here I am at the park again, Butler Park in Cherry Valley. I'm uh, trying to go through more exercises here. I don't really want to go to a gym because of the expense when I can use, you know, more like calisthenics and things like that. And I do have free weights at home. Uh, one of the problems with this bar here is that this bar pivots. It's not in one spot. It, it spins. So it's very difficult to maintain a good control. But what I'm doing right here is I've never been able to do pull-ups. I've always wanted to do pull-ups and just for whatever reason I don't have the upper strength for it. So I was taught that um, you can actually start to do eccentric pull-ups. And that's the eccentric phase. So that's where you're focusing in on lowering yourself down. So I'm not trying to maintain a, a, a hold. I'm deliberately trying to lower myself slowly. And that's supposed to increase my strength. But it is very difficult to, to do this on this bar because of its spin. It tends to want to spin so much. So at this point in the video, this time in my life, I'm weighing about 250 pounds. And this was taken several weeks ago. So I'm at the point now where I'm, you know, I'm heavy enough that even doing things like calisthenics like this is something like doing free weights with heavy free weights. As I lose weight, I may have to go more into things like free weights and heavier free weights to keep the weight up because I do not like how many videos I see on YouTube of these guys who look like they're super muscular. They look incredibly strong, but they're weak. And you see them sitting there, you know, curling a 35 pound dumbbell in each arm and squealing like a stuck pig. That's not strength. So lifting my own body weight, you know, 250 pounds, that's like, you know, that's, that's pretty heavy. But as I lose weight, I may have to, you know, use more heavier free weights at home. And probably maintain this, because I'm, whichever form of exercise I decide to stay with, I may mix it up. I may go into running. We'll see. But here, if you notice me, I am doing push-ups, and instead of having my elbows out to the sides, this is the more difficult version where you keep your elbows close to the sides. And I'll tell you, it's more difficult, so you got to take a break. I'm not very good at push-ups either. I just something with my arms. I'm not as strong with my arms as I am with my back and my legs. And it's kind of strange because back when I was still going to the gym, I you know I could easily bench press you know 200 pounds. I remember having a 90 pound plate on either side of a 45 pound bar. So it'd be like 135, and I do that 20 times. And then you know I, sometimes I double the plates on each side. And it was with curls, doing uh, arm curls, I would do 45 pounds 8 to 12 times. So when I see these guys that look really muscular but they're squealing, you know, with 35 pounds, it's always kind of disgusting to me or something. But uh, if you notice that with me doing the push-ups earlier, I decided to quit because I was starting to lose my form. I don't want to just keep pushing it. So here I'm back at the same bar again that, that pivots. I think you'll see me squeeing it back and forth a couple of times, and it's just it's very difficult to get a good grip, especially if your hands are sweaty. Right? I want to just make sure I get a good grip so I can hold longer. I don't want to just hold for a few seconds and drop. I want to really maintain for a while. If I remember correctly, what I was going to try to show the camera was how that since I've been doing this for a while now, doing pull-ups different days, trying to do pull-ups, uh, that my hands were had become very red, especially from the last time and you know the beginning of blisters. And I learned from a guy on the internet that um, if you start to get feeling like you're going to get blisters in your hands, slap your hands together, and it hurts, but it's supposed to prevent blisters. Obviously, with that one, I couldn't hold it very long. I'm just, you know, I'm newer at this. 
I'm just trying to get into this. And I can do incredibly heavy weights with free weights, but I just can't seem to do things with my own body. With calisthenics, you know, even Pilates. I've had problems, you know, I can do it, but it is hard for me with Pilates and with my own body weight. But you give me 300 pounds, I'll go walk over and pick it up like it's nothing. I remember when I was 16 years old, that was the first time I remember picking up something around 300 pounds. And, but with my own body weight, it's something different. So, it's, this bar is really giving me some difficulty between my hands being sweaty and its spin. It's very difficult to get a good grip. I think at one point here I fall. I would welcome comments on, you know, from people who know what they're talking about on uh, form or just, you know, how I could do a better job at this and try to get stronger at it. Um, my, my goal is to be able to do a pull-up and eventually do pull-ups and chin-ups and things like that. So, but here, I'm going to be simply a different form of hanging for strength. I'm going to do a, an angled hanging and then consecutively drop lower and lower and lower. If I remember correctly, I was trying to just do a light workout today because I was going to go walk in for a distance and didn't want to overdo it. It was a pretty hot day that day. something I actually enjoy doing. I've enjoyed doing dips and I can do quite a bit of them. So I usually do like 20 off the right off the bat and then groups of you know sets of 10 reps after that. This is the breakfast I believe I had that day. I'm just trying to lose weight, and I've gone on the internet and learned some different things that are supposed to help you lose weight of, you know, your diet for the day. Um, and when I say diet, I mean changing the way you eat permanently. Uh, so this is a banana, two garden-grown tomatoes, uh, sautéed onion, some cottage cheese, and I think that was three eggs. I pray you've enjoyed the video, and... I pray that you can either it can either be a blessing to you or maybe even you could be a blessing to me. Give me some sort of information that helps me to get into better shape. Thanks for watching. Hello. If you're watching this video, it could be that you found it on your own or it could be that someone sent it to you because they care enough that they want you to hear about the gospel. The gospel is pretty simple. Some verses that can be used for the gospel are like Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 5.8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, 
but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now you can think, well, you know, most of the religions teach that if you're good enough, you'll go to heaven. It's not what the Bible teaches. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, for instance, says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Romans 3, 19 to 20 goes on to say, Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of, of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. So, what's the answer? Christ. John 3.16, you've probably heard it. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Romans 9-10 says, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's a pretty simple way of explaining the gospel. So, if you want, you can pray, and, you know, if God's leading you to pray and repent and accept Christ as the Savior, then you can be saved.